welcome to our second elementary chapel in the clouds. Before we delve into what God has for us today, let's let's uh, turn to Him in some praise and worship through prayer. Father God, Lord, thank you. Thank you for the gift of this day. Thank you that we can come together in this unique and special way to bring honor and glory to you, to worship you and praise you, and show our thanks to you and our undying love for you because of what you've done for us. Lord, will you be with us in this time? Open our hearts and minds to what you have for us to learn and grow with and help us to um, just sit in your presence. Thank you, Jesus, for your great love. It's in your name we pray. Amen. So the last time we were together, we talked a lot about sin and how Jesus died on the cross and took away our sins on Good Friday. And one of the verses, two of the verses that are really powerful in that message were Romans 5, 8, but God shows us it. But God shows his love for us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And we, in that, we talked about Jesus being the light of the world. And in 1 John 1, 7, it said, But we, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, Jesus his Son, cleanses us from all our sin. Well, today, um, after, today we're going to talk about what happened to three days later after Jesus died on the cross on Easter Sunday. So we're going to follow up with yet another experiment. But before we do that, I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Palladino so we can sing some worship and praise to the Lord this morning. Good morning, everybody. We're back to sing with you again today. I have Jude here to help me with hand motions and singing and Mr. Palladino on the guitar. Our first song this morning is going to be a review of the new one we taught you last week, His Mercy is More. So I hope you remember the hand motions and you'll sing along with us. Back to sing more songs in just a little bit. And I'm back! And 
And now I'm back to set up the um, experiment of sorts on to talk about what happened after Jesus died on the cross and took our sins from us. So we're going to start, you see I have three cups here, and I have a pitcher of water. So I'm going to fill up each of these cups with some water, just like so. So I just water the pitcher, and we're going to use our food coloring, and today we're going to use blue and yellow. We're going to put blue in this first cup, and this is symbolic of after Jesus died on the cross, we picked blue because blue represents the sadness that Jesus' followers felt after he died on the cross. And I'm just going to stir that up to make sure it mixes really well. Okay, so there's our blue water. And now the third cup here is going to be yellow. And we'll talk about, in a little while, why I'm making this yellow. Actually, no, we'll talk about it now. Yellow, as I think about it, is the symbol of the resurrection, of, of Jesus is rising from the dead on Easter Sunday morning. It's yellowy orange, but it's the idea. Okay, and now we're going to leave this middle cup clear. And we're we're going to see just what happens when I do this. I'm going to take, I have two paper towels. And I'm going to take them and I'm going to fold them in half. And I'm going to put this paper towel in the blue, partially in the blue, and partially in the plain. And I'm going to take this paper towel and put it in the yellow, the cup for the resurrection, and also in the plain. And when we come back, after we get to sing this next song with Mrs. Palladino, we're going to see what happens to this middle cup. Okay, we're back for another song. This one is a chapel favorite. We are going to sing Praise You the Lord, and I'm really going to use Jude this time because if you are in kindergarten, first grade, or second grade, you're going to stand up and sing with Jude. If you're in third grade, fourth grade, or fifth grade, follow me. We're going to start out nice and slowish, and we're going to get faster. So are you ready to sing, Jude? Here we go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's brown, it's plain, it's gray, it's blah. 
And in the spring, things start to come alive and bloom. The trees start to get green leaves. The grass gets green. The flowers start to bloom with green stem and green leaves. Green is the sign of new life and also the sign of the new life we have in Jesus after his death and resurrection then on Easter Sunday. And there's lots of verses in the Bible that go along with that. But when we, when we surrender ourselves to Jesus, when we give our hearts to Jesus and say, Jesus, we believe in you. We know what you've done for us. You died on the cross. You've taken up our sins from us. And now you've risen from the dead. You've resurrected and given us the gift of new life. Um, the, the verses I wanted to share with you are 2 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. He has new life. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the faith I live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Perfect description of this experiment. We, we were sad when Jesus gave his life for us. We rejoice when he comes alive again, and we have new life in him because of it. Those two things join together to give us new life. And the last verse I wanted to share was from Ephesians 4.24. To put off your old self, the sadness and the ugly and the, and the mess and the sin, which, belong, which belongs to the former matter of your life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and put on your new self, created after the likeliness of God in the true righteousness and holiness. So now, as we wrap up Elementary Chapel in the Clouds number two, we can celebrate the new life we have because of Jesus' death and resurrection by singing one final praise song to worship him and bring honor and glory to him. Back to Mrs. Valdino and her worship team. All right, guys, we are back for our last song. We are singing Our God Reigns, which is from the concert from last year. So the lyrics are on the Google Doc that was sent out with this video, so I hope you will sing along. Are you ready, guys? How lovely on the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news.
Father God, thank you so much for bringing us all together this morning here at chapel. I pray that you were worshiped and glorified, Lord, and that you would be with us now as we go throughout our day and into our week. In your name we pray. Amen.